you can feel the tension around the city today. There's lots of history between these two teams. It's Derby Day, but who will come out on top? We have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And I must say, it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue, Craven Cottage by the banks of the Thames. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Fulham, and they face Brentford. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Oh, keeper dealt with it. And there's the delivery. And knocked out of there. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. He's in behind. Can he finish? Foiling his opponent completely. What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? And short it is. And there's the feed into the box. Well, Brentford unable to hang on to the ball. That's eye catching wide play. Shot attempted, but into the keeper's gloves. Fulham couldn't keep it. A foul, but advantage played. Pinnock. Super tackle and they've won possession. Johan Wiesa. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Can he finish? And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes, yellow card, no. This to open the scoring here. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Here we can see it again, and he's done well to read the intentions, but just can't get a touch on it as it sails over him. So close to being a fantastic stop. Go. 
So underway again here. One nil the score. Can he finish? Oh, that's a fine save. Corner kick played in. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there. But I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. An opportunity to level matters. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here it is again. He makes it look so easy. The keeper dives slightly early and he passes it into the other side. Really confident finish. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Lewis Potter. Attacking with vigour. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. And over it comes. Well, it might still work out for them. Well-timed tackle. Moving forward effectively. Cross fired over. But it just petered out. A chance maybe from the wide position. Firing it towards goal. Ball is loose. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Well, just take a look at the stats. They've certainly been great in opportunities, but they just haven't been clinical enough in front of goal. Some of their finishing has been really poor. That has to improve at some point in this game. And making headway. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Janelt for attacking possibilities determined defending and not a great challenge free kick here And deep into the penalty area. A very good tackle. Running with the ball confidently. This looks more than decent. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And the short option preferred. There's the cutback. Brilliantly blocked. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper.
Trying to pick out a teammate. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Played over. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Roroslev. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. And that's really well read. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. He's going forward well here. A oh, nice ball over the top. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Craven Cottage. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Gives it a go. Well, how close was that? Inches away. Fulham doing well to regain possession. Good-looking sequence. Takes the shot. And still danger here. And the keeper has it after that tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? Johan Wiesa. He's enjoying space. That's excellent defending following the cross. Sloppy in possession from Fulham. Oh, that's a really good run. And missing the chance. Well, he strikes it cleanly, no doubt about that. But unfortunately, he's missed the target. He's got to score there. To be replaced by number seven, Neil And a substitution in the offing. <laughs> Harry Wilson. Wilson. Useful ball to the near first. Well, it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Now, who can he play it to? And the keeper got there, and comfortably. Good work from Brentford to win the ball back. And a free kick awarded by the referee. 
Here it is now, a substitution. Oh, good strike! Well, not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. Wilson. He'll have a go here. Well, in actual fact, it ended up being a simple claim for the keeper. Mads Roerslev. Regained possession. Firing it in. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Well, they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. Well, he's gone back and awarded the free kick because there really wasn't much of a tangible advantage. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Johan Wiesa could cross it in here. Oh my goodness, you've really got to praise the defending. That was top notch. Just 15 minutes remaining. Running with the ball confidently. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. Well, they need to get bodies back. My goodness, it looked as though he was clean through. And the referee, what will he do here? And a red card it is. Denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity. Well, as soon as he made the tackle, he knew the outcome. That's an easy decision for the referee. defending and he's through here can he finish chance maybe well no way through in the end Neil Mopé well breaking at pace is always a possibility who can he pick out well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. And so into the final five minutes. A real opening now. It ought to be the goalkeeper's ball. Oh, what a very fine stop to keep them in this. Will he finish? Speculative effort. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And time for the change now. Number 22, Nathan Collins, to be replaced by number 20, Christopher Ayer.
can he deliver it with accuracy? Not the most confident clearance. Ambitious effort. And a body in the way. Just the challenge that was required. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Now well, plays with a positional sense that is second to none. How well, can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? And that'll be offside. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, Stewart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.